Hey, I got a free RV given to me. Yeah, that's right. It's a 2000, 26 foot uh, Fleetwood. I'm going to be upgrading it today. We're going to be upgrading LP lines, lights, and locks. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Uh, that's right, in the bumper I revealed I got gifted a 26 foot 2000 Millard RV, uh, but it needed some repair. I already completed some of the repair, but we're also upgrading some of the features on the trailer and making it pretty in case I want to sell it. So, in we replaced the floor in a previous episode. Yes, this is the floor and oh my goodness I can't tell you how much it has changed the class uh, And the ambience of the inside of the trailer just so much and Now we've got some repairs going on and we got some upgrades the upgrades I'm going to work on in this video are we're putting new LP gas uh, connectors, gas lines. Uh, we're taking the old ones off and we're going to retrofit them. And we've got the appropriate equipment to be able to do that. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. It did come with some expired propane bottles. So I took them down and got them recertified and I had to have uh, valves changed out. And we'll go over that when we install the propane tanks. Now, I did get the title to the trailer, but I didn't get keys. The uh, gifter lost the keys. So I purchased new locks uh, for the doors. There's two doors on this. Okay, there's a helicopter flying over. I've got to look at this. I am an aviation buff. This is an Ericsson Air Crane. They are manufactured in White City. They have two locations, White City and Central Point, Oregon. They are nearby. I have, uh, I drive by the factory all the time. So they have these big airships. These are fuselages that they got a uh, special um, rights to. These fuselages are Sikorsky helicopter fuselages. And these helicopters are heavy lifters, so these are retrofitted with uh, snorkels so they can suck water up and drop water on a fire. And we have a whole bunch of fires burning, but I don't report on those because they're more than 10 miles from my homestead. They're actually 12 miles from my homestead. We have two complexes of fires and a total of, I would say, maybe 12 fires burning, separate fires burning in those two complexes. So, but this show is about upgrading the RV. I'm also making it pretty by uh, painting uh, the whites and the blacks with some nice uh, glossy spray paint. I painted the tongue and the landing gear and the uh, place that stores the batteries and the propane bottles. And this preserves them. It keeps the rust away. I also put a coat of paint on the propane bottles uh, to preserve them to keep them from rusting. I painted my stairs and uh, also the back bumper. So it, it dresses it up quite a bit, uh, but it also uh, preserves it and keeps the rust away. Okay, I got the hitch, uh, all you know, the receiver all uh, painted up and tidied up. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up the lines and put in these uh, zip ties to uh, make it nice and tidy. And it may prevent some problems down the road yeah, with wires just dangling. We don't want dangling wires. Nope. So we're just going to zip tie them and make them nice and pretty. Now I did purchase these lugs uh, from the hardware store. So I'm going to uh, strip these wires back and put the lugs on 
uh, so I can have a nice, neat connection into the batteries. So I'm going to cut this wire back because these two get stripped and go into one lug. This is to the power for the trailer and this is to the landing gear. And I have a little light on the landing gear also. Kind of a neat feature. Okay, and now we crimp this. I might have to get something a little bit different to crimp this because I don't have a crimper that's big enough. Looks like that's crimped. Okay, that one's on. And this is the neutral or negative. And we'll do the same with that one. Okay, that was a fail. So I had to take it in, put it on the vise, open it back up so I can get in here and do it this way. Okay, we got that on. So what I have is two six volt batteries. that are very heavy. These are six volt deep cycle batteries, so it gives you longer life when you're dry camping. And uh, since it's six volt, the tw system is 12 volt, I'm going to link ne uh, positive to negative to make a 12 volt battery. And it just so happens I have this heavy duty cable to achieve the goal to my end. Okay, I got the positive hooked up. I've got my tie-in uh, cable hooked up uh, from positive to negative. Uh, to give us 12 volts because each battery is 6 volts. Now we have make our final connection after I put these new uh, lugs on and uh, make it nice and neat and that way if the trailer ever sells it's um, the new buyers will see that everything is done neatly. Now I've got a load leveler kit for the trailer, I'm going to go ahead and reattach these. And one thing I'm missing is I'm missing the the, uh, the pins that go through here. They look that this is that's what this is. This is the pin. I just need to get another one of these, and then I have a locking pin for the tongue. So we'll we'll go ahead and put that on. But right now I'm going to put this on the tongue. Okay, I'm going to take the bolt. and spray a um, liquid wrench on it and put this in the threads and this goes right here okay and that pin holds it in place. Well, it tightens up the chain. So we gotta put the other one on. Okay. Now, these are the bars for the load handler. They go on here, uh, on this chain, or on this hook right here, so you can um, level out the hitch with the load on the truck, 
and the truck has a special receiver. Yeah, this is the receiver for these things. So I went ahead and painted these up uh, just to make them pretty and also protect them from rust. This is the receiver hitch for the load handler and uh, load leveler. And uh, there's holes under here where those uh, things come out, those bars come out and curve up. They stick in these holes right here. And that keeps the whole load level. Now I'm gonna change out these hoses. The rubber has gotten really stiff. It's not very pliable. And this one doesn't get a good seal. Don't know why, maybe it was just the valve. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off. And I purchased these new ones. Now when you purchase these, be sure you get the ones with the right size ends that you're gonna need for your particular application. I bought these. Uh, paying attention to what I needed. So we're going to go ahead and open this up and then we're going to use the right material to uh, seat this. I've got some uh, special threading compound and gas specific tape. Let's get this on. You'll note that your gas rated tape is yellow and that's what you want to look for. Don't use the white tape on gas fittings. The white is for water plumbing. This is gas plumbing. It operates at a little bit higher PSIs. So now that I have this out, I can demonstrate what I was talking about. See, this is stiff. It's just so aged, and this is really pliable. Yep, that's what we're going for. Okay, I want to put this on here. One, two, three four, five, six, seven. And now I want to put the thread sealer on. That's what this is. TFE is for gas. So we're gonna go ahead, just spread this on. Okay, I'm using a 5 8 and a 7 16 for these particular fittings. We're going to go ahead and tighten that down. Ooh, that one's a little bit bigger. Okay, that's a half inch. All right, 5 8 and half inch. So we're going to turn this till it's seated all the way down. Okay, let's put the propane tank on. Okay, we're all done with this, but uh, this is broken. It's just old. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and order a new one. Uh, just because I can, I can put the money into this um, RV because I got it free. So no, front is all done. It's completed. With the exception of replacing, uh, yeah, this cover, I'll go ahead and order that. And uh, we got it all painted. It's pretty. It's nice and tight. Now let's do the lights. I have a accessory light here that it's just not functioning so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and replace it with a new one these are hex nuts we're just gonna re release those hex nuts and we'll probably replace it with the hex nuts okay what's the deal here It has that putty, but 
I'm going to use something different. Now note, white goes on white, black goes on brown, whatever the color that is. The new LED lights we're putting in, uh, these are incandescent bulbs and the bulbs will work regardless of polarity. Uh, LED lights will only work if the polarity is correct. So we're going to, uh, we're going to test it to see which lead is actually uh, the positive because sometimes the manufacturer, the wirer, will um, mix up the wiring uh, and confuse the positive from the ground. I have a brand new replacement that it, they, they supplied me with both a uh, amber lens uh, that repels bugs and a, a clear lens. We're going to use the clear lens on this application and this one comes complete with new wire nuts and screws but we're not going to use the screws we're going to use the same ones we took off. Okay make sure this is on and they've pre-stripped it for us so we're just going to go ahead and remove those and uh, let's see which one's which. Nope. It is reverse polarity on these wires too. See? So we know which one. If you hook up your LEDs on your RV and it doesn't work, just don't pay attention to the uh, your black wire with your red wire uh, on your, uh, your uh, little um, LED light. It's Yep. Uh, the polarity of the wires are, are, are opposite. Okay, for the porch light, it makes sense just to uh, put the bug light on. <laughs> okay, it should work by the light. There you go. I got porch light now. Yay! Okay, I also have LED double lights. I've already replaced all of the single lights. Uh, yeah, we've got them all replaced. Now I just got to do my LED double lights. We gotta pay attention to the polarity because this coach is not uh, wired correctly. Don't know what they were thinking. 
Probably a new guy. Didn't know what he was doing. Probably doesn't know the difference between positive and negative. Before I get started on my light, I wanted to show you a little bit of my eccentricity. Um, we're outfitting the RV for getting ready to camp. I've been shopping at Dollar Tree and Walmart and the thrift shop. Check out my smorgasbord. Yep. Marshmallows, graham crackers, and Hershey chocolate bars. S'mores. Smorgasbord. And I got fresh fruit down here which fits my diet perfectly. I picked up all this tableware at Dollar Tree. The placemats, the chargers, the plates, the cups, the glasses, the wine glasses, all at Dollar Tree, including the Kleenex. Those little baskets over there? Yeah, Dollar Tree. Kitchen mat and trash can? Dollar Tree. Welcome mat. Guess where? Yep, Dollar Tree. Frugal homestead. So, uh, let's get this light changed out. Ready? Here's my double light. And, uh, it does come complete with uh, the wire nuts. That's what we want is the wire nuts. I'm going to use those. Okay, pull that down, see what we got here. Uh, these are double wires. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, clip it here and here and strip these wires okay since I'm thinking the polarity has changed on everything black will not go to black red will not go to white I'll be surprised if it does. Nope. So we're going to cut black to white. So pay attention when you're doing uh, retrofitting your LED uh, light fixtures for your RV. Polarity specific. I dropped my nut. Uh, yep. Polarity specific. Uh, twist those wires on and then put the nut on. Okay. And tuck those back home. Turn this off. So you may wonder why I'm going LED uh, throughout the uh, coach. It uses a lot of electricity and puts less strain on the battery power. I'm going to be installing a set of solar panels in the roof to charge the battery so we can dry camp indefinitely and have lights. Now I get to change the locks on the doors. I've got a, a two locks that are keyed the same, so we're going to change the locks on both doors. Now these particular uh, door handles use Torx bit. So I got my Torx bit on my screwdriver. We're just going to remove four of these. And that just pulls right off. And then we got to take these out here. And then it comes out. Remove my new one from the box and inspect it. Look at it.
Okay. Looks good. Okay. So we put this in. Just the reverse order of taking the other one out. Now, this new one comes with uh, Phillips screws. The new screws are Phillips instead of the Torx. So we're just gonna put the new screws in there. Okay. And put these on. There, that works, and that's the lock. Okay. And now I have a set of keys that'll work on this lock and this lock. Yep, that works. And now I have this lock to uh, replace. Let's see, close that door. And then put the new one in. Cool, I got four sets of keys now. So uh, this one's done. And this is as far as I can go on the project today because I got to order cabinet keys. And um, I've got awning parts coming in because I've got to replace this handle and then the slider and then the rafter slider the end bracket that slides in and out of the rafter i have to uh it's broke so i'm going to replace that too uh and there's a couple of other repairs i'm going to do so that'll be another video stay tuned to that one hey i'm your host jerry hansen this is pine meadows hobby farm we're a frugal homestead tucked high in the cascade ranges of the pacific northwest i want to thank you guys for sharing this little adventure with me where we uh, restored and upgraded the, the tongue with the new lugs on the battery cables and also the new uh, hoses uh, for the uh, newly inspected and upgraded uh, propane tanks. We got new valves on those. Also, thank you for sharing this with uh, adding new lights, LED lights. And remember, if your light's not working, it's reverse polarity. Just reverse the polarity and it should work. And also adding the door locks. Now I can lock the unit. And uh, the next episode, like I said, we're gonna be adding the new locks to the, um, these little uh, uh, cabinets outside, so. I gotta order the, the appropriate sized locks for those doors. Be safe, always be kind, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. We'll see you guys in the next episode, okay? Bye-bye now.